Hi guys, Matt here. And today I want to talk to you about elevator pitches. Now I know you can find information about elevator pitches everywhere. And I don't want to sound like a broken record. I just want to give the structure and some examples just to help people who potentially aren't using them yet in their networking to start using them today or to give you a structure. So when you're talking about your startup, no matter whether you're an aspiring first time or existing founder, it gives you a more purposeful, concise, easy to go to framework to talk about your business idea to the right people. So let's get into it. So what is an elevator pitch? Put simply, it's a brief persuasive speech you can use to spark interest when talking about what your startup or your business does in terms of the project, the idea or the product. And really it lasts about 30 seconds, same time that it takes to write an elevator, hence the name. And it's useful in the business world for a number of things, including really efficient networking, to make really impressive first impressions, gives you more clarity of thought, to be more concise when you're speaking about your idea, gives you the chance to create opportunities, and it shows you're prepared as well when you come into a networking event. So a simple structure that you can follow is number one, quick intro, name, company name. I'm the founder of Netflix, for example. Problem? The clear problem that you're trying to solve. The solution. What is it and how does it work? Unique selling point. So what is it about the features or the benefits that makes your solution great, that makes it unique? Achievements, social proof, even market potential. You can talk about customer stories, potentially how many people you've worked with or what kind of results you're getting from people. Have a clear call to action. And then finally, some kind of engagement question at the end to take your discussion to the next stage or the next level. So there's two examples that I want to show you today using the structure. I've got a fake example, Aqua Purify. So let's get into it. So the intro, hello, I'm Mia, the CEO of Aqua Purify. The problem statement, today millions struggle with access to clean drinking water due to contamination and outdated purification methods. The solution, Aqua Purify has developed a portable solar powered water purification device that can purify water for almost any source. The USP or unique selling point is, our device is unique because it's both cost-effective and efficient, purifying up to 50 liters of water per hour. The market potential, there's a huge demand in remote and disaster-affected areas, as well as among outdoor enthusiasts. And the call to action, we're currently seeking 150,000 investment to scale our production and reach these critical markets. And the engagement question to take it to the next level or next stage would be, would you be interested in discussing in how Aqua Purify can make a global impact and offer a sustainable solution to water scarcity? Let's try another one, this time Beyond Meat. So the intro, hi, I'm Ethan Brown, founder and CEO of Beyond Meat. And the problem, the meat industry is one of the largest con contributors to climate change and environmental degradation. Solution, at Beyond Meat, we produce plant-based meat substitutes that taste and cook like beef, poultry, and pork. And the USP, our products use significantly less water and land and generate fewer greenhouse gas emissions compared to traditional meat. The market potential. The global demand for sustainable plant-based protein is rapidly growing, especially among health conscious and environmentally aware consumers. Call to action. We're looking to expand our market reach and product line and are seeking investors who are passionate about changing the future of food. And the engagement question, are you interested in joining us on this journey to transform the food industry and make a positive environmental impact. So hopefully that structure and those examples can help you to think about how to apply it to your own business. And if you'd like to send me a draft of your own elevator pitch, you know, feel free to DM that to me. I'd be glad to have a look and give you some feedback on that. Also, if you're looking for more help with your pitch, your pitch deck, or even having trouble with financial projections or understanding the fundraising landscape, we actually have a six week pitching bootcamp that's available to all startup founders. And if you'd like to learn more, comment elevator below and I'll get you all the details. Thanks guys. And I'll see you in the next one.